What's up everyone and welcome to the club and welcome to another beginner sketch tutorial. In today's video I'll show you step by step on how to sketch a saber toothed tiger. Let's begin by sketching a circle in the center of our page. We move to a side grip, sketching with the flat side of our pencil. Let's start at the very top and just lightly work our way around the left side. Just using these short lines coming in and then work our way around the right side. We're just going to go back and readjust our circle. Now from here, we want to establish the basic shape of the head. Starting from the top left side of our circle, let's get a straight line coming out and then down towards the left. Now you want to extend this up towards the right, towards the top of our page. Now from the bottom left of this line, we're going to draw a 90 degree angle coming down across the front of the head and all the way down towards the bottom of our page. And then from the bottom right side of our circle, we draw an angle line coming down towards that line. From this point on the left side, we're going to step down, draw another angle line, just form that angle line going up, across our circle, and then out towards the right. Let's go back over towards the left side. We're going to step down, just going to curve the mouth, going in, just crossing that circle and then coming down towards that bottom line. Now right where this curve meets the circle, we're going to draw that same angle line coming down and out. Let's go back to the top of our circle along this line. We're going to come over towards the left and sketch a small circle for the eye. And then we're going to add the ear right where that circle meets this line. So we're going to start right here going out and then bending that across, come down and then back in towards the side of our circle. Now round out the top of the muzzle, right where the circle meets this line, we're going to step down and go across and then just bend that down towards the front. And it'll block in the nose right here, draw a straight angle line coming back, curve this down and then out. Now we're going to draw those two large teeth along the top edge of the mouth. From the end, we're going to step in, curve this out, come down, and then just bend that in. Now from the tip, we're just going to taper this so it gets wider as we come back up underneath the mouth. Let's add another one on the right side overlapping. So in between these two lines, just follow that curve coming around, and then down towards the bottom. And then again, just tapering that back up towards the top. Now we're going to start refining the shape of our drawing. Let's start by rounding out the bottom of the jaw. Starting from this point, just going to curve this down and then across towards the bottom of the head. And then we'll give a slight bend to this line. From the bottom, go up and then bend that out towards the bottom of our circle. Now to give our drawing a little bit of depth, we're going to draw the back side of the mouth. Let's start underneath the fang. It's going to curve in, just following that same curve coming down towards the bottom of the mouth. And then we'll layer the tongue in behind, right here, curve out, and then back down. Let's add a couple smaller fangs along the bottom. Starting down here, go up and in, and then taper that back. Now I'm going to move over and draw that again. Just going to tuck this in behind. Now where the bottom of the head meets that circle, we're going to curve the neck going out and then down. And then going up to the top of the circle in the center, it's going to curve the head going up, around the ear, and then out. Now you want to reduce some of this clutter, so we're going to erase some of these guidelines along the outside of the head. Work our way towards the back, and then erase some of the lines along the inside going towards the eye. Now at this stage, our drawing should resemble the basic shape of a saber-toothed tiger. Now the next thing we want to do is add a second level of detail. Let's start with the brow. From the outside of the eye, I'm just going to curve this in and then up towards the top of the eye. Let's come around the side and then down. 
and it'll trace the eye along the bottom, starting underneath the brow, going down, and then back up. Now let's move over and add some shape to the nose, starting from the outside. I'm just going to round this out, and then bring that down, curve this down, and then out, and then we'll round out the end, just connecting the top and bottom with a curve. Let's add a half circle along the bottom for the nostril, and then we'll lightly shade that in. Now I'm going to add some shape along the top of the mouth, starting underneath the nose, come down, and just bend that in behind the teeth. Now I'm going to go back up to this line and curve the muzzle coming down across the teeth and then back up. And then we'll fold down the corner of the mouth, starting on the outside. I'm just going to bend this down and then back up. Let's wrap the lower jaw around those teeth and curve around the top, come down and then back up on the outside. Now you want to shorten the end of the jaw, so we're going to curve this down and then out. Let's go back and refine those teeth on the outside, just lightly tracing these out. And then we'll trace the top two teeth. Now to add some shape to the tongue, we're going to start by dipping this down and then up. Round this out and then come down in behind the tooth. And then we're going to find the shape of the back side of the mouth coming in. I'm just going to curve this back towards the front in behind the tongue. Now I'm going to go back and add some more shape to the ear. Start with that top curve. I'm going to round out the tip. Just pull that back in. And I'll trace the ear along the inside, going out and then back in. Now I'm going to add a guide coming out from the eye up towards the ear. It's going to come down with the side edge of our pencil and then bend that back up. And then from the bottom edge of the nose, we're going to curve this up and then in towards the eye. And now at this stage, we're going to go back in with the tip of our pencil and start adding some details. Now let's start with the eye. Starting with the outside, I'm just going to trace the iris on the outside, along the top, and then just pull that in on the left side, coming down. Trace the bottom going back up. Add a small circle in the center of the pupil. Add an even smaller circle on the top right. And it will darken up the center of the pupil. Let's shade the top of the iris and then fade that out as we come down towards the bottom. Now I'm just going to darken the areas around the eye. Starting with the left side. And I'm just going to fade that out as we come up and forward. And just working across this line, just adding some folds and wrinkles. side edge of a pencil, I'm just going to add some shading around the eye. I'm going to stay with the side edge of my pencil and just add a light fur texture along the top of the head. Just starting to cross that line and just pulling that up and fading that out. And then we'll work our way across towards the front, just refining the shape as we go. Just adding some different tones. And then darken up the top of the muzzle. And then we'll go back and just add some more shape to the nose.
I'm just adding a light fur texture along the bottom of the mouth. Just pulling these short lines going across. And draw on the back side going in behind the teeth. And then we'll just work our way down towards the corner of the mouth. Just using these short lines. Going back and adding a little bit of shading across the muzzle. And then along the bottom. And then go back and add some light stripes across the muzzle. Starting from the front and just sketching our lines towards the back using the side edge of a pencil. And we'll come back and add some more detail after. Adding some more wrinkles across the top of the head. Just working our way towards the nose. and accentuating that fur around the brow. Let's so layer another pass of shading. Just working our way down and across. Just working away from the eye and out. Now we're going to go back and start tracing out the top row of teeth. And then lightly shade those in. And then with the side edge of our pencil, I'm just going to add a shadow across the top and then blend that down. Just adding a little bit of texture with the tip of our pencil. Starting up the top of the tooth and a few spots along the inside. Now from here, we're just gonna move down and start detailing out the bottom of the mouth. Just working our way towards the front, just around the teeth. And then we'll darken up the top of the gum line. I'm just gonna continue to add that fur across the bottom of the chin using these short lines going across. And just working our way towards the back. Now just adding a little bit more texture from the gum line and across the top of the fur.
Let's add a shadow across the bottom of the teeth. And we'll add some detail. And then adding more shape to the tongue. Now let's darken off the back side of the mouth, starting from the top, and then just working our way down. I'm just gonna blend this in with the edge of the fur. I'm just going to go back and refine those spots and those stripes across the muzzle, just enhancing the circles. And then we'll continue with that fur texture along the top of the head. Gonna add a notch along the bottom of the ear and then we'll darken up the outside perimeter and then just fade that in. Just adding some shape to the fur along the back of the head, going across the neck. Just fading that out. Now we're just going to block in the fur shadow across the jawline, coming down towards the bottom of the head. I'm going to stretch that shadow across the neck. I'm going to go back and just darken up the shadow inside the head, going across the top, and then coming down underneath the eye, towards the bottom.
I'm going to go back and add a second level of detail with the stripes. Just darkening up the contrast. And then adding some fur texture along the inside. I'm just going to define the musculature of the jaw with the fur. I'm making some separations in between. Add a little bit of saliva inside the mouth and dripping down from the teeth.
And as we get closer to the end of our drawing, we'll tighten up our shadows and add a little bit more fur texture. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of a saber tooth tiger. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your requests in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.